हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम रजनी खान एंड टूडे स्टूडियो डिस्कस हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट माइक्रो सर्विसेस विथ फिंग रेस्ट क्लाइंट ओके सो इन येलियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट माइक्रो सर्विसेस विथ रेस्ट टेम्पलेट बट इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट माइक्रो सर्विसेस विथ फिंग रेस्ट क्लाइंट ओके so if you will see this course content uh, let me uh, show you in this slide show so today this nine number we will cover thing client okay in next uh, video we will cover client side load balancing using ribbon okay so let's see so if you see my existing controller in ticket booking service so here a uh, book ticket one rest end point is there so where will receive a ticket as a payload and here we are uh, trying to call a uh, payment service a web api we are calling payment service microservices so here we are creating this url headers and this request and in rest template dot post entity then here we are passing this uri request and what is the response you want that uh, class type we are providing here and here we are uh, doing those steps okay so here lot of logic we need to uh, write this kind of things right so uh, in fin client with minimal uh, with minimal code we can achieve this functionality right so we'll gonna uh, see that one so fin client is kind of like uh, uh, in data jp we are defining some repository right the same way we'll define some uh proxy service and we will uh, and we'll use that one okay so um, so first uh, so for that one first what we need to do we need to add the thing client dependencies in our pom.xml so in ticket booking service pom.xml this is the pom.xml so we will add this dependencies spring cloud starter open thing open thing earlier it was spring cloud starter thing but in higher version this is the dependency let me copy this one and let's paste over here control s it's downloading those dependencies you will see building 100% so once we have done then we need to enable thing client in our main class so like where at the red spring boot application is there just to add the red enable thing client thing clients okay uh then here we need to pass that package which package it need to be scanned for our thing clients so let's give this base package and save okay so here we have done enabling fling uh, fling clients in our application next what we need to do we need to create a proxy service right to call our apis so for that one already i have created a package com dot ticket booking uh, dot fling proxy let's have a interface payment service p a y m e n payment proxy service okay payment proxy service this is a interface and here we need to an uh, we need to annotate like this at the red f e i z n thing client okay and here we need to pass name so name indicates so name indicates what is that application we want to communicate so here the payment service we want to communicate so go to this payment service and here uh, in this resources we have given right spring dot application dot name this payment service we need to copy and go to the proxy service and paste it here this is the payment service and second one url what is that url 
for this payment service so for this payment service it's running on 80 no oh, it's running on 8082 port right so let's go to this proxy service local host call on 8082 so this url is based on your uh, thing suppose in your production means this this would be some prod url if you are running in test some test url it, it will be okay so currently we have a defined an interface with fin client and where which application it, it need to connect and what is the url it should be used for calling that uh, application okay so here we need to provide those methods so how will write so go to this payment service go to this controller and inside controller will find this payment just copy this endpoint and go to our interface so here paste so in interface we are not required this body so remove this one and provide a semicolon control shift o okay so we have defined that endpoint okay so our thing client is ready it will connect to this uh, application with this url and this is this uh, this is that endpoint so here is this endpoint we need to connect okay so let's go to our ticket booking service controller okay so let me expose an another service let's copy paste this entire one and let me paste over here okay and here the name book ticket f e i z n thing book ticket hyphen f e i z n for safe side i am creating another endpoint so that uh will not uh, modify anything to our existing endpoint okay so here let me remove this entire uh thing we are no longer required okay and this try case block also no longer required so here okay before that one let me auto wide that mm, uh, payment proxy payment proxy service payment proxy service okay and here let me auto wire that one auto wire okay control s and we'll use this payment uh, proxy service in this thing client it's not get body this would be uh, that particular do payment and here we are passing this uh, payload okay and rest of the things is same so if you'll we'll see within this uh, four to five lines of code we have done the entire thing so here we need to write all those details kind of thing right so this is a very messy thing but uh, whereas in pink line with uh, with easily we can write all those uh, logics okay so currently we have done the thing so for safe side let me concatenate uh, something f e i z n thing client okay so in success message uh, we'll add thing client so that will confirm yes it's coming from thing client okay so let's uh, run this entire application and we'll gonna see so first i need to run this config server because we are uh, reading some properties from this config server let me run that one right click run as spring boot app and next what we need to do payment service this service i need to run so let's run this one as well 
and finally we need to run this ticket booking service okay so let's run this one okay so mm, now my three services are up and running so now let's hit our uh, existing now let's hit our existing ticket booking service and then we'll see this uh, with the thing right so thing version and normal version we'll see first let's uh, see that normal version so recently we have changed that url right this is that book ticket and let's go to here and let's hit save this one and hit ticket booked in qa successfully by user okay now let's add now let's hit this book ticket thing version okay so if we'll hit this one ticket booked in qa successfully by user thing client let's see it's coming from thing client okay so uh, this is that overall idea so how we can communicate uh, multiple microservices using a uh, thing client okay so hope this video is helpful to people please uh, do like share and comment and have your uh, valuable feedbacks in the comment section if you want any other videos let me know definitely i will try to upload those uh, videos as well so thank you for watching guys have a nice day